Thorlabs fibre cleavers such as the LDC401 are capable of high precision cleaving of glass fibres with diameters ranging from 80 micron to 1250 micron cladding. To achieve this, the unit uses precision machined inserts that ensure fibres or glass components are located on the fibre line of the unit. Typically, a top and a bottom insert need to be fitted in each fibre holding block on the unit. Bottom inserts have a V-groove which will position the fibres on the fibre line of the unit. Top inserts have either a flat or a flat recess to provide a third point of contact. A range of inserts are available which can accommodate a wide variety of fibre sizes. Depending on the application, the inserts will hold either the coating or the cladding. For example, to cleave new fern matched passive double clad optical fibre which has 550 micron coating and 400 micron cladding, 400 micron inserts would be used in the right fibre holding block to grip onto the glass cladding. 500 micron inserts would be used in the left fibre holding block, which are appropriate for fibres with coating diameters between 476 microns to 711 microns. Before fitting the inserts, ensure that the insert channel and the insert itself are clean and free from debris. Use a wipe or cotton tipped applicator soaked in a solvent such as acetone or IPA to clean them if required. Place the bottom insert in the channel of the fibre holding block. Place the top insert part way into the channel of the lid. Close the lid while holding onto the insert to keep it in place. Slide both the lower and upper inserts along their channels so that they very slightly overhang the front edge of the fibre holding block. Now use a hex key or other straight edge to ensure that the ends of the inserts are flush with the end of the fibre holding block. Lift the cam lever to fully close the lid and make the inserts flush with one another. A 35 thou hex key should then be used to tighten the set screws that hold the inserts firmly in place. To hold the lower insert of the right hand side fibre holding block in place, there are three set screws on the front of the block that need to be tightened. Note, the hole next to the cam lever on the right is not for an insert set screw. The upper insert is held in place by tightening the four set screws on the back of the lid. Insert should be loaded into the other fibre holding block on the cleaver in the same way. For the left hand side fibre holding block, the lower insert is held in place by tightening two set screws on the front of the block. The upper insert on the left hand side is held in place by tightening the four set screws on the back of the lid as before. The cleaver inserts are now fully installed and the cleaver should be ready to use. If you are using a cleaver in conjunction with a Thorlabs Vitran glass processor or LFS splicer, it is beneficial to use a transfer insert. The transfer insert assembly maintains accurate fibre position registration as the fibre is moved from the cleaver to the glass processor or LFS splicer. This allows precision fibre optic assemblies using fused optical components to be manufactured, such as medical probes and sensing devices. A transfer insert assembly is made using a transfer clamp, a transfer insert and a graphite V-groove appropriate for the fibre type being used. Several different sizes of transfer insert are available. To learn how to assemble a transfer insert assembly, Please see the separate video that describes that process in more detail. To use the transfer insert, place it in the lower channel of the left fibre holding block. Lift the back so that the insert lies flat in the channel. Now push the insert to slide it along the channel fully so that the reference ball on the transfer clamp is touching the reference surface on the unit. The insert should slide easily and not need to be forced. 
Using the same method as described earlier, place the upper insert into the lid of the left fibre holding block. Close the lid while holding onto the insert so that it stays in place. Now slide the upper insert towards the transfer clamp. Stop when there is a gap of a few millimetres between them. Close the lid fully using the cam lever. Tighten three of the set screws on the back of the lid to hold the upper insert in place. As the upper insert has been slid backwards in the channel, the set screw nearest the cleave blade will not need to be tightened. Do not tighten the set screws on the front of the fibre holding block, as the transfer insert needs to be free to move in and out of the channel, enabling it to be transferred between machines.